Welcome back. Today we keep having fun with SSH. Now that we know the basics, there are so many things we could do with it. So remember to do your own research. Because there's so much more to it that we can possibly discuss. So, last time, we connected a client to a server, in our own local network. The router, automatically assigned IPs, to both our machines, so SSHing from one to the other was pretty straightforward. The next logical step, is to connect to a server over the internet. There are two ways of doing this. First, over ClearNet. Having a physical server behind a router. Or, renting a VPS somewhere. This would require for you to deal with some of the following. Domain names. Static IPs. Dynamic DNS servers. Firewalls and port forwarding incoming connections for specific ports. We are not going to do this. Instead, we are going to self-host our own Tor hidden service. This way, everything will be simplified and we will gain immensely in terms of privacy and security. We will start by SSHing into our server, still in our local network, and installing Tor. Tor, is not installed on our server. The Ubuntu repositories, will not get me the latest version of Tor. Therefore, I will install the Debian package repository maintained by the Tor developers themselves. I will just go to, torproject.org, click on support, and follow the instructions. Done. The Tor Demon is enabled by default. Now, it is time to set up a Tor Onion service for SSH. It is very easy. First, we need to add a couple of lines to the Tor configuration file. At etc Tor. The first line, specifies the directory which will contain the information and cryptographic keys for our onion service. I will name it, SSH. And, in the second line, I will specify, a virtual port. That is, the port that the client will be using to SSH using the onion service. By default, SSH uses port 22. Any traffic incoming to port 22 of this Onion service, 
should be redirected to my local host, here at my server, to port 22. Which is where the SSH process is listening. Now, save, exit, and restart, tour. Restarting tour, should have created the directory for the hidden service that I've just specified in the config file. Let's look at it. At. Var. Lib. Tor. There it is. SSH. Public and private keys for the hidden service, and a clear text file called host name, which contains the Onion version 3 service address. There it is. I told you it was easy. I will copy it into my clipboard, and make a new entry in my password store. Let's check. How cool is that? Your own, Onion service. I will log out from the server, and keep it running, of course. Because now I want to test the hidden service. But to do this, I will leave my local network. Where should I go? I know. To Russia. Okay. So I'm on my computer, in Russia. I've brought with me, a USB drive with a backup of my password store, and my public key. Let's set everything up on this machine, so I can SSH into my server. First, I'll import my public key. And, update my pass data directory. Pass is already installed. There it is. The pass entry for my server's SSH onion address. Before moving on, don't forget to trust your own keys, ultimately. Now, I will insert my YubiKey and see if it works. I'm missing the smart card demon. Finally, we need to allow GPG to handle authentication requests from SSH. The overriding of this environmental variable, will only apply to this shell and its child processes. Please, remember that to make this change system-wide, you need to add the previous line into your bash rc file, and refresh your current shell environment. So, we are ready to ssh into our server. Let's get the onion address. Notice that the syntax that we have used up until now, will return an error, when SSHing into an onion hidden service. 
This only works when the host name is either a clearnet domain or an IP. When dealing with onion addresses, we need to route our traffic over Tor. There's two ways of doing this. Using the command Torify or the command TorSox. Let's try Torify. My Yubi key is flashing. I will touch it. We have successfully SSH'd into our server, from another country, over Tor. Let's check our server's IP. There it is. 192.168.1.118. Sitting at our local network. At home. Now I will disconnect, and try to log back in, with the command, TorSox. The YubiKey is flashing. Success. Think about what I just did. I gained access to my home server from another country, through an encrypted SSH connection. The keys for authenticating my client were created offline, and are held on an external security device, a YubiKey. On top of that, I have used the Tor network to access an Onion version 3 hidden service, which is non-discoverable. If you don't disclose this address, it's almost impossible for anybody to know about its existence. This is impressive enough. But next time, we will take it up a notch. And make accessing our server, even more secure.